Good morning, everyone. Before I announce the verdict, I want to acknowledge the attorneys in this case for their hard work and professionalism that they showed during this case. The attorneys presented their cases very well. For starters, Angela Hawk's actions were likely unlawful by her acting as a lay midwife in the home delivery of the nose baby. Under Nebraska law, her actions could be seen as the unlawful practice of medicine under the Uniform Credentialing Act and in violation of the Certified Nurse Midwifery Practice Act. Any violation of these acts would be a Class III misdemeanor for a first offense. Further, any person engaging in the practice of any profession or business without the appropriate credentials may be restrained by temporary and permanent injunctions. And finally, practice of such profession or operation of such, pro of such business without a credential after receiving a, cis, a cease and desist order from the director of the, of the Department of Health and Human Services is a class three felony. Angela Hawk, however, is charged with negligent child abuse resulting in death, a class 2A felony under Nebraska Revised Stat Section 28-707. Also, the court notes that the parents in this case have certain constitutional rights involving their medical choices for home delivery of their baby, although the court recognizes that the parents' choices are not absolute. This court expresses no opinion on whether home births in general are wise or prudent. This is an issue for the, for the prospective parents and the Nebraska legislature. Further, this case is not a civil case where the plaintiff has, has alleged that Angela Hawk acted negligently. This is a criminal case where the state has charged Angela Hawk with criminal negligent child abuse resulting in the heart-rending death of Vera. There is a vast difference between civil negligence and criminal negligence. While it is true that Angela Hawk is not a licensed midwife, she does have education, training, and experience in childbirth. Under the facts of this case, the elements which the state must prove by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt in order to convict the defendant, Angela Hawk, of negligent child abuse resulting in death are one, that the defendant did cause to permit Vera, Vera to A, to be placed in a situation that endangered her safety or physical health, or B, to deprived of necessary care, and two, that the defendant did so negligently, and three, that the defendant's conduct in doing so proximately caused the death to Vera, and four, that the defendant did so on or about June 14th through June 15th, 2019 in Douglas County, Nebraska, and five, that at said time, Vera was a minor child. Angela Hawk first argues that the state has failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that she was, negligent, that she was criminally negligent. Pursuant to Nebraska Revised Stat, Section 28-707 in parens 9 negligently refers to criminal negligence and means that Angela Hawk knew or should have known of the danger involved and acted recklessly with respect to the safety or physical health or necessary care of Vera. Recklessly means disregarding a substantial and unjustifiable risk that Vera's safety or, he or health or necessary care would be endangered in circumstances in which disregarding this risk was a gross deviation from what a reasonable law-abiding law person would have done. What makes this case very troubling for the court is to try to separate the rights of the parents to choose a home birth with the criminal charge against Angela Hawk. The Noes knew beforehand what Angela Hawk was all about, and they chose a home birth. In fact, the Noes rehired her after they tried a home delivery with the first child approximately one and a half years earlier. At no time did Angela Hawk misrepresent, misrepresent, misrepresent herself. 
Once Vera was determined to be in a breech position, Angela Hawk gave the nose the option of going to the hospital. It is unclear from this record whether Angela Hawk knew there was a prolapsed cord. Although Angela Hawk did not provide the nose with all the risks associated with the breech baby, it was the nose choice and they chose to continue with the birth at home. Some 30 minutes or so later, Emily Nose started to deliver Vera. What happened next was, a tragic, was tragic, but everyone involved in this case from the Nose, Angela Hawk, Mickey, the firefighters and paramedics, and the doctors and the nurses at the hospital acted to the best of their abilities to save Vera. In applying the elements outlined above to the case before the court, the court cannot find that the state has proven, has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that Angela Hawk acted criminally, that is negligently caused or permitted the minor child Vera to be placed in a situation that endangered her safety or physical health or deprived her of necessary care. The court finds Angela Hawk not guilty because the court has found that Angela Hawk's actions were not criminally negligent. The court will not address the other issues raised by her. It is therefore ordered that the defendant, Angela Hawk, is found to be not guilty. I will file this verdict with full citations momentarily, and the parties are excused. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome.